Welcome, and first and foremost, happy hoodie weather. Love this time of year. Little uh, shameless plug, I'm wearing my hoodie now. You can get that over at my website, waltzkitchentable.com. It is the holiday season. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Also, check out what else is going on on my site. Would love for you to you know check in, say hello. Love, when you, uh, love a good chat. And also, I can't deny or I can't uh, forget Live Rishi. These guys make high-quality CBD product. They've been supporting the show for years. It's easy for me to talk about because I use it all the time. Just played in a basketball tournament, and that kind of shape I am not in. I am more of a gym rat, but it was for a great organization to uh, help raise money for cancer research, so I love to participate. And my body said, what the fuck are you doing? But had a great time. Always good to uh, break a sweat, talk shit all day long, and uh, but get back to it. Live Rishi. So my body's a little was a little beat up. Got some Rishi rub. I have some. Use it all the time. It works wonders. You want to chill out, relax, and uh, have a good night's sleep? Check out the tincture. My favorite is a thousand milligram. Put a little under that to your tongue. Boom, you're fast asleep. Um, holidays are here again. Don't forget, uh, makes a great gift. You know somebody that needs that or enjoys that product as well. Jump over to LiveRishi.com. Use the code word table. That's going to let them know I sent you and you're looking at 50% off. Perfect time to check those out. Get a holiday gift or for yourself. I need to stock up myself after that damn basketball tournament. Dan, I love you. but uh, Anyway, so you're wondering what the hell this is off the cuff. Well, it's me. This microphone, y'all listening, uh, whatever's on my mind, I don't have any notes. I'm just free balling it here, and uh, I appreciate you listening. Take what you want, leave the rest. And I got a handful of things I want to talk to you all about today that's been on my mind, and the reason I call this episode is it takes a village because that's exactly what it does. All this macho bravo bullshit that uh, lone wolf and all that. But if you really know the story of the wolf, uh, go ahead and Google that. I don't need to get into that. Uh, it does take a pack. You know, I believe we are mammals and predators at the same time. You know, that's what we are built as humans, you know, to gather and hunt. And we need a village or a clan or a pack or use whatever word that you want to use, but I'm going to stick with village today. And me personally, I have a couple uh, examples that I'm going to give you. And the reason I'm bringing this up is take a look around at the people in your inner circle that how much do they help you? Have you said anything lately that, you know, Hey man, I appreciate what you do. Hey, you know, thanks for looking out. Have you said any of that? Or you take that shit for granted like most of us. Um, my eyes were brought wide open and these couple stories I'm going to tell you, <clears throat> excuse me. And I was just kind of throwing this out there to make you think. And that's what I'd like to do because good conversation is how we get things moving in the right direction. If we don't talk about it, then it doesn't get looked upon. So the, the first one I want to tell you about is, you know, I work on the road, I drive a work truck. And I park it in our apartment building, and it does take up some space. I've made arrangements with the apartment building, and it's all good. And where I park it, they said, why don't you park it here, but eventually we're going to need to do some work right there, and you'll need to move it. And I said, well, I drive it every day during the week, so uh, no big deal. I didn't sweat it. Well, I went to away with some coworkers for the day on a project for work. And I left my rig, as I call it, in my apartment building. And I was driving in that morning going, I just, fuck God, I just know they're going to call me that my rig is in the way. Yep. Sure enough, I'm about 30 miles away. There's no way I could get back. Uh, we have a friend that lives in the building with us. She is not familiar with driving a rig like that. But I called upon her because she is such a yes to life that, uh, I said, listen, uh, I need my rig moved. You cool? And she's like, yep, I'll jump right on it. And I talked her through it. 
she moved it. No problem. She was a rock star. Um, that's one example. I just got thinking about it during the day. I said, man, holy cow. Good thing I have people in my circle that are willing to get so out of their comfort zone to help me out, right? So that was the first time and one day. Later that day, it was obvious that I ate something that I shouldn't have. Well, I should have ate it, but it didn't settle with me. And not be too graphic, but it was coming out of both ends like a fire hydrant about 20 minutes on the 20 minutes for most of the day. I was this close to going to the hospital. It was crazy. I have not felt that way in a long time. Well, my wife was at a very important uh, thing at work, and I needed to pick up my son from daycare. And I said, you know what? Of course I could have you know, went and got him and made it work and, you know, did the logistics. But why would I put myself through that and my son, you know, kind of disrupt his life when I know that I could call on actually the same person that moved my rig. She come down, help me get my son all situated, put him to bed. And I was running back and forth to the bathroom and laying on the couch simultaneously, if that's possible. But Again, I'm not going to get into detail. It was fucking brutal. Uh, so those are two examples that I called upon somebody that they dropped what they were doing to help me out. And now, do you have people in like that in your circle? I sure to hell do. Uh, you know, again, look around, see what they have to say. Or what have they done for you? Have you like let them know that? you really appreciate them, even if they did something for you six months ago and you never really talked about it. You know, it is the holiday season. I know that's people use that for an excuse. You should act like this every day, all day, but you know, let people know, let people know in your village and in your inner circle, how much you appreciate them. Now going outside my inner circle, this very mic that I'm talking into, I've had this podcast for a while and I truly love everything about it, the work, the, the people that I talk to, the communication I get back, the negativity and the positive, uh, the positive far outweighs the negativity, but just like in everything else in life, the negative sticks out once in a while, but you got to learn, you know, that's on me. I got to learn to kick that shit to the side and keep moving because there's more positive than negative. But anyway, I got the, my first microphone with a little kit, you know, and just started this thing, invited some friends over, started talking and it's where it is. Again, I'm having a great time. Well, then the audio started kind of sounding like shit. And if you've been listening to me for a while, I was involved with a video and photo production company and I know how important audio is. And it was really bothering me. And I sat there and I would edit or I would uh, record knowing that the mic was fucked up and, I'm like, what the hell am I doing? Why am I not getting a new microphone? Well, when I looked into it inside, I was like, because I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what kind of gear to get. So uh, I'm involved with a podcast group that I cannot say enough good about. Um, this guy, Travis, runs it. It's called Poddex. I'll have the link in the show notes. If you're uh, in the podcast business world, interest, anything that has to do with podcasts, check this guy out. The group is fucking amazing. So I jump in the group. Hey man, I'm, this is what I'm looking for. This is my budget. This is my setup. This is what I need. Or, you know, da, 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 da. People just started kicking it over to me. Hey, try this one, try this one, try this one. And I broke it down to a couple and I, and then, uh, sure enough, they said, yep, that's the best value that we know about. And I said, cool, spent the money, got this mic and I could not be happier. So, you know, there's just a few things that happened to me recently that I realized that you can't do all this shit by yourself. Right. I mean, I have my logo or my saying that says the shit ain't going to lift itself. Right. But you can't do it yourself. So look inside your inner circle in your village or your your posse, your gang, uh, your clan, whatever you want to call it, as long as 
y'all help each other out and it's all cool. That's what we're looking for. So tell everybody you appreciate them and I bet you they return the favor. Now I'm going to get you out of here because I know you got shit to do, but don't forget before you take off, jump into show notes and check out liverishi.com. Uh, they got a brand new website, which is beautiful. Um, and let them know I sent you by using the code word table. And I would love for you to get onto my website, waltzkitchentable.com. I'm doing some blogging, which I'm having a really good time. I enjoy that very much. Never thought I would. Never thought of myself as a blogger uh, or anything in writing. I like to do this vocally. But uh, I'd love for you to check that out. And, you know, the hoodies, it's hoodie weather. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Check those out. And remember, when I say have a great day, the motherfucker is silent. Till next time. Thank you.